Factor a to the third plus 2a squared minus ab squared minus 2b squared. If we had a greatest common factor, we would take that out first, but there is none. Since we're given four terms, let's think factoring by grouping. So let's look at these first two terms and pull out a greatest common factor of a squared, rewriting this as a squared times a plus 2. Now let's look at those second two terms and pull out a greatest common factor of negative b squared and negative b squared times a plus 2. We'll give those last two terms. At this point, we have a common factor of a plus 2. Bring that out to the front. Let's write this as a plus 2 times a squared minus b squared. Now, we've got a good factored form here, but it's not completely factored because we have a difference of squares in this second parenthesis. Let's factor it. Our completely factored form is a plus 2 times a plus b times a minus b.